I might be biased, but healthcare is one of the greatest places a data analyst can work, especially in a hospital. Hey everyone, I'm Josh. I've been working with healthcare data for about 10 years now, and today I'm gonna to tell you five reasons why you need to apply to be a data analyst in a hospital right now. Reason one, you might save lives and make patients healthier. This is one of my favorite reasons, and I'll give you an example of stuff that I've worked on recently. Some of the projects I've worked on include automating the detection of patients who qualify for a certain gene therapy that would help them with epilepsy, tracking how adequately we provide dialysis to our end-stage renal disease patients. The one that I'm most excited for, however, is a project that I just finished. In this project, a clinical team formulated a process to more adequately treat patients who suffer from acute seizures. They created a plan for stabilizing acute seizures by treating the patient with a series of medications. My role was to gather the data so we could identify how well we follow these practices and to demonstrate how these practices stabilize seizures more quickly and effectively. What makes this really exciting, however, is that this is gonna be published in a medical journal. Other doctors might see that study, incorporate it at their own hospital, making the treatment of seizures more effective and safer across the world. It's really a different feeling that you don't get anywhere else and your work could save lives either directly or indirectly. Reason two. Even your most basic work will be highly appreciated and it will have a deep impact. Here's what I mean by that. Healthcare has historically lagged behind other industries in its analytical innovation. In the year 2008, less than 10% of hospitals had an electronic medical record system or EMR. And so for a long time, we didn't have a standard way of digitalizing patient records and storing them in a computer. Now, this is a significant point. EMRs not only did away with tracking patient data manually, it also made it possible for us to store and analyze that data on a computer. So after 2008, what happens is we start to see more hospitals adopt EMRs due to a government subsidy. By 2014, we see that almost all hospitals have an electronic medical record system. Since EMRs are such a recent innovation for hospitals, you're still gonna find a lot of departments tracking that data manually in Excel which means there's a lot of processes that still need to be automated. As a result, it's not too difficult to wow clinicians and administrators if you have the technical skills. Now, your mileage may vary, but this has been my experience. If you can do basic analytics and you understand the business problems, you are gonna look like a rock star. For example, my colleagues in the dialysis department previously spent a lot of time manually tracking down data from the electronic medical record system and plotting that data in Excel. I wrote a series of SQL statements to help them automate that process and save them 30 hours of work per month. And it also earned me a higher raise that year. Speaking of money, that leads me to reason three. You're gonna see a better salary compared to most other industries. Now, the median pay is not crazy high like Microsoft or Amazon or Netflix, but for the most part, the salary that you make in a hospital tends to rank more highly compared to other industries. As of March 2023, the US average for a data analyst is $70.4,000 a year. Clinical data analysts, on the other hand, tend to make $80.5,000 a year. Here's where it gets even more exciting. You can make even more money if you earn certain certifications. As we've seen, the majority of hospitals now have some kind of EMR system to capture and collect patient data. The one that is the most dominant right now is Epic. Now, if you manage to get a job in a large hospital and they sponsor you to get Epic certified, you have the potential to make a lot of money as an independent Epic consultant later on in your career. Epic consultants tend to travel a lot and they waive certain benefits that you would get through a traditional full-time equivalent or salaried position, but it's not uncommon for Epic consultants to make 90 to $110 per hour. Just a side note, if you haven't seen or heard of Epic before, they're a pretty cool organization. They actually have a whole building that's themed like Hogwarts Castle. They've got an office building themed after Lord of the Rings. They got an office building themed after a barn. So if you have a chance to go to Epic in Wisconsin and take some classes, I highly recommend it. By the way, this footage is from YouTuber Dennis Ling. So thank you so much, Dennis, for letting me use this footage. Now, aside from the prospect of earning a higher salary compared to other industries, there's also a growing demand for data analysts in the healthcare space. A study conducted by IBM in 2016 analyzed the most in-demand skills needed in the data analytics community that year. The result that was actually at the top of the list was clinical data analysis. Ranked ahead of data science, 
quantitative data analysis, data visualization, among other things. Now, I picked this older report for a very specific reason. Notice where this lands on the graph I showed about EMR adoption earlier. So in other words, it appears that after the 95% of hospitals in the US adopted an EMR system, they realized that that could be used to improve patient care and outcomes, which led to an explosive demand for clinical data analysts, at least when the economy is reasonable, which leads me to my next point. Reason four. Healthcare tends to be more stable than other industries. The US Bureau for Labor Statistics forecasts major growth for the services listed here. Notice that half of the top largest growing industries are healthcare focused. Now, no industry is completely immune to recessions or bubbles, but if there's any industry that comes close, it's healthcare. Speaking from my own personal experience, I've worked at six different hospitals over the past eight years as a data analyst. When times have been tough and money was tight, I have seen people lose their jobs at the hospitals that I have worked at, but I have not yet seen that in the analytics department. The worst I've seen is analytics departments instituting a hiring freeze, thus leading to more work piling up for the pre-existing analysts. Now, one final note about this, if you feel like you might lose your job soon or there's a recession on the rise, you can get experience in a lot of different areas in healthcare, which will make you even more invaluable when you apply to the next job. Which leads me to reason number five, you will always be learning new things in a hospital. The longer you work in a hospital, the more diverse your skill set is gonna become and the more indispensable you become. There is so much subject matter to learn and practice. If you work in a big hospital or healthcare system, it's not uncommon to see many different departments that might need the help of a data analyst. Some of the departments you might see include a research department, patient safety, quality of care, hospital acquired infections, a patient experience department, a strategy and planning department, the list goes on. Besides the industry knowledge that you'll be building, there's also healthcare centric software that you'll be learning in the process as well. For example, the EMR system Cerner and Epic. As of this recording, I only have about four years of experience pulling data out of Epic and I've only scratched the surface, but that small amount of experience that I do have has led to me getting high paying jobs where I had the competitive edge over other people that did not have that experience. Now, if I have motivated you to work in a hospital as a data analyst, let me give you some closing thoughts. The most important qualifications are to have some technical skills and some strong communication skills. That alone should be enough to get you a job somewhere in the healthcare industry. Check out my videos on how to become a data analyst if you want to learn more about that. But where you can really stand out compared to other applicants is if you have some pre-existing knowledge about the industry. I can help you with that on my channel, so stick around because I have a lot to talk about and there's a lot more content on the way. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.